y'all doing? Now we're going to talk to my Leo. Now, Leo, we're doing your next weekly, too. I'm trying to get some weekly done here, too, because I want everybody to know, you know, kind of what you're dealing with, you know. And I want to send you love and light to your situation. And also, remember, keep your head up. Be strong, be positive, and you win. Can nobody attack your positivity? It's when you low in energy, low feeling drained, that's when they try. Also, let me say my prayer. Any black magic is be reviewed. It cannot come break through here. It's blocked from the Holy Spirit. We got it from top to bottom. A chakra from head to do. It's protected. No one can get harmed with any kind of magic here while watching me. It is done. It is blocked. Uh, Archangel Michael, we ready? We have Archangel Michael. Okay. Uh, ancestors. Uh, Grandpa. Yeah. And we have Uncle Gene. Okay. I got uncles in here, y'all. I am on fire. So let's get started. Now, Leo, on Monday, there's something that you're hot and cold by second chances. Somebody's going to want to come to you on Monday. And they want you to make a decision. But you're hot and cold about it. You know something's off about a decision. About a return person that's going to be coming to you. And they're going to want a second chance. What's the what's the situation? Why are you feeling funny about somebody returning to you? Because the Knight of Cups, you know this person is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone that is on a spiritual journey, love, dating, and um, wooing, artistic, and a dreamer. Somebody, they're romantic, artistic, and this person wants to reveal that they their honesty and they want to revert re, you know return some stolen items someone's seven of swords someone wants to return something that was taken from you and um the four of cups someone is boredom someone said they're restless with waiting on it they're not waiting on it there's like somebody's not waiting on it i don't know what that is but anyway um let's talk on about tuesday now tuesday you're gonna be drained and exalted next week. Something's going to drain you because that, that that's going to mess with your mind. So you're going to have to have an understanding and realization to uh, handle your lusting ways too. So you can make peace and balance that. You need, you need to balance that sexual energy too that's coming towards you because it can get you in a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm just being honest, Leo. Lusting and looking and thinking is two different things. And don't get caught up in that. Now, on Wednesday, we have letting go. Someone wants to be moving on on Wednesday. They're deciding. It says uh, too much turbulence and stress. Uh, this person wants self-growth. And they want to focus on uh, making things happen. And make things keep rocking in their life. They want to start making a new leaf. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, Thursday, you got Leo. You're chasing thrills and excitements. So something going to excite you. But, you know, there's a beautiful, a, a charming, grateful person that's really withdrawn, lonely, and they're in solitude. You have a, a chemistry and spark with this person. But this is someone in the past that you you abandoned, rejected, and it's starting to, you're trying to draw back on it. Why is this coming back on to you? What about this person? Why is this coming about this person in the past? Because this was a three of swords, someone that struggle conflict, uh, mostly detached, recovering, someone's healing and they're trying to recover from the being detached from their emotions, not dealing with their quarrels and their situations. Like the Ten of Pickles here, Pinnacles here, it says the family trouble, loss of community and family. See, someone caused that they lost their family and community of this. Someone four of wands in the past, they were ungrateful. Lacking pleasure, excuse, celebration, personal insecurities. They need to be gratitude. They need to have gratitude. Someone needs to be more gratitude in their life. Five of Cups. Someone is depressed. Someone has a lost grief. And they know they were unwilling to make a sacrifice. You know, in, in a, about a situation with a Nine of Cups. They were overindulging and had ill health, lacking uh, motivation, you know, obstacles. You know, just didn't want to confront the truth. Somebody ain't going to want to confront the fruit on uh, Thursday. But Friday, there's going to be an emotional storm concerning to it because someone is letting, they're being confused about a lot of things. And they want to go back memory lane. So you're going to be thinking back memory lane like, really? Somebody's going to be doing this on Friday. The next week, they're going to be thinking like, man. Now, Saturday, somebody's going to be obsessing over something some illusions that they think they're in about uh, uh, only you devoted and craving only you, a soulmate. 
deep love, unity, connection. But there's boundaries. There's, see, something has been drawn the line. There's awareness. See, you got to know your value. What do you value about yourself? That's what you need to ask yourself. Are you a value? Before you go back, doing what, going back to what you used to have. If somebody in a relationship didn't value you, why would you keep it? Uh, and I'm not a person to give advice, counselor. I'm just saying, me personally, I'm not going to keep going to get my, my, chop me off every time I go back. That's all it does is chop you off and put you back hot and cold. You can't keep living in hot and cold temperatures. They get aggravated for a minute there. Now let's see if there's any messages that I need to pull to before I have to. I'm making this fast because I want to get everybody a message. Get things rolling. What's going on? What's the message for my love? What time? Okay, we got... Okay. Leo, what's going on? What's the messages? What do I need to tell Leo? And these messages for entertainment purposes only. Take what you can. Don't don't make it your story. It is not. This is a lot of people whose names could be in here. And this is allegedly entertainment purposes only. So don't make it your story. So let's see. What's going on? What did I just do? Sorry about that. I should turn the ringer down. Okay. What's going on? Okay. It says you're in the land things on your mind before going to bed. And the first thing on your mind is, you know, in the morning, wake up. So you need to you need to lay down and meditate on what you want to know. What's on your mind? What you want to know? So and ask, you know, talk to your higher self to tell the answers will come to you by the morning. You know, first thing in the morning, you have to ask yourself. Someone named Hannah wants to know that you're on the land. Things on my mind before going to bed. The first thing I'm moving, I wake up. You know, thinking. You know, someone said they want you to know. They want you to walk away from something. They said, walk away. I, I don't know what that is to you, but this is legend in term purposes next week. It said because there's a Spider-Man or lady in the past that mean that uh, uh, there's twins coming. Someone's having twins. Someone's having uh, twins. Okay. Someone have fun, just period. They're not having fun by having twins. They said, I'm not having fun. But somebody got to watch out for doing extras, going down there, doing extras, things that you shouldn't do that's healthy, not healthy for you or unborn babies, allegedly. Be safe. Don't be sorry. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. It says why you, you know, someone says there's something they notice and they don't, they said something don't smell good. Someone might need to go get checked. Somebody said um, they try to stop you from getting paid on YouTube, too. They don't like you spreading love and light in the past, but they put e bad, evil stuff around you. They tried to put your house on fire. It takes bravery to love someone. They want to let you know it takes bravery. But you know, karma is coming for some things that some people were doing. Karma always wins. Remember that. Watch out for some allegedly this because something about it. I'm not going to say nothing else. Just watch out. It says someone is a fire starter, someone. Your granddad left you money when he left. Your family took your trust fund from you. They want to tell you, but they don't know how to front that. They took it from you. Someone named Ashley in the past. Somebody with a D in their name. They said your auntie, fa your auntie, uh, your auntie's family took part in uh, your grandparents' money being taken from your land too. They took the land, the house, everything. The auntie knows about it, and the dad, they know about its inheritance. Something about 1989, they know about it from a red card. Thank you, 